So what are some good games that I should be playing on the PS5? I uh, Tax Season was good, so I'm, I'm finally getting a PS5 this year. I didn't need to uh, for a while, and this year there have been a lot of good games that I feel like I've missed out on because I didn't have a PS5. Um, and I think some of that is just the FOMO of getting deeper into content creation as a career and streaming and everything else. Like, you you know, there there's a certain... <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a cost of opportunity if you're not focusing on as many new things as possible. And there are some things that have been PS5 exclusives that I was like, I, most recently, like I really did like the the Final Fantasy V or Final Fantasy VII um, remake, right? And I was able to play the first half on the PS4. Same with Last of Us 2. I played that on the PS4, but those are like the end of the lifespan for that for that console. And since then, uh, when when we were moving everything else, I waited a year and could not get a hold of a PS5. Um, and after a year, I was tired of waiting. We were moving. And I think, I think it was like two months out from our move, uh, a Series X came up on Amazon. And I was like, I'm just getting it. And did, and I have thoroughly enjoyed the Series X. I love the uh, Game Pass ecosystem. I had never got tuned into that before. And now I, I've been, I think, going on three years in Ultimate subscriber and i absolutely love it i get so much value out of it as a content creator let alone as a gamer um and now you know being able to layer on playstation on top of that and get back into the playstation ecosystem i'm really excited about this because looking at the life cycles of these you know i'll probably get another four years out of this three at least uh, another three to four years of life out of the ps5 so for me it's a good investment in terms of the channel growth and the business because you know, now we can take advantage of Series X and PS5 exclusives moving forward and get a lot more out of what I'm doing here for the channel. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I have some things I'd like to play. I had originally thought I was going to play Dragon's Dogma 2 on my Xbox Series X, but I'm wondering now if I ought to maybe try this as like my first big game on the, the PS5. Um, I know that uh, I definitely want to play... The Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know that I have enough time to play that between now or between this arriving and um, Dragon's Dogma 2. Unless I play it like every day. But I mean, I'm a variety channel, so I do a lot of different things. Um, whereas I have like, you know, middle of the month, I have uh, the uh, Star Wars Classic Battlefront Collector's Edition that my brother and I are going to be playing for on like the 14th, I think. Um, and that's going to be an all day thing for us. And then I'll probably do two or three days of content creation around that. So I'll be busy from the, let's say from the 14th, I'm busy until the 18th, maybe. Um, and so I have from the 18th to the 22nd, I have a small window before I got to drive it, dive into Dragon's Dogma 2. And then we only have from now until the 14th. So there's only like seven days left. So it's like, I don't think I have enough time to do Final Fantasy 7 yet. So I might just. You know, get it, get it set up, maybe see about a couple of small games, maybe, maybe see about purchasing the games I want to play and get those kind of figured out where I'm going to put those in the schedule. Um, that would be a good thing to do. Um, I know I, do want, I want to do the Final Fantasy VII follow-up that just released. Um, I would like to try, um, I think it's called Ghost of Tsushima. It's not a PS5 exclusive per se. But it's a game that I've wanted to play for a long time. And the director's cut, just it's just coming to PC. But I know it's been out for the PS for a while. And I really looked at, the, I really wanted to play that game. I also really would like to try this Ronin game that is launching simultaneous to um, Dragon's Dogma. And I need to look into that more. Um, but these are all, I mean, there's like at least four or five games I can think of off the top of my head that I could probably half a dozen if I could, went and looked at the store and I'd be like, oh yeah, that too, that too, yep, those two things. There's at least, you know, like five or six things off the top of my head, you know, that I know I want to play on the PS5. Um, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. What are some of the games that you think are worthwhile on this platform as exclusives um, that I should dive into? Um, I mean, if you're new here, I would say dive into my playlist a little bit so you understand the types of games that I like. Um, I traditionally just lean, I play everything to be honest with you, but I do lean towards like RPGs, um, like, like heavily. Um, but overall I'll play anything shooters, you know, I mean, most recently I was doing bolt gun, like Warhammer bolt gun is awesome. Like a doom like experience, really cool. You know, we've done a ton of stuff. So yeah, just chuck me suggestions down there and stick around. Cause, uh, 
I may do something before Dragon's Dogma, but I might make Dragon's Dogma 2 my first PS5 um, game. We, we might do that. I don't know yet. We'll see. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Love to see your guys' thoughts and comments down below. See you next time.